Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use ClickUp for customer requests and customer relationships. So as a ticketing, I would say. So the first thing you want to do is you simply click here on new space. Then you want to add a space name which is going to get called um, customer requests. Now click next. When you're going to click next here uh, you want to have, well, let's say like this and this and click next. And then you have an option to share custom requests. You have an option to choose if it's going to be private or workspace. Workspace, then click next. And here, uh, don't choose any of these. We are going to create our own. Then click next. Then enable click apps. So if you want to, you can have like enabled uh, things here. So you can simply have time estimates if you want how much time you're going to spend, sprints, tags, email, custom field, time tracking. I'm going to like have uh, these on next. Now default settings for views, you can have also something like, I don't know, calendar here, um, timeline table. That's like completely up to if you want it or no. So. That's also what you can do. And now when you have it, click review space. Another one that you can do if you're going to work with a team, you can have workload. Workload means that how many people are going to have how many uh, requests. So we can enable it. I'm going to show you how we can use it. Review space and create a space. So here we got it, customer requests. What we can do here and how we're going to edit it. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. You can also, I believe, uh, integrate it with uh, Zendesk or if you can have any other automation here. So first thing first, we're going to rename the list. And we are going to have it as tickets, let's say. Then three dots here and choose list settings, list statuses and press custom and we're going to have three of these. So the first one is going to get called done, which is going to be green. Then we're going to have a working on it. Then we're going to have the add status, which is going to be open requests and which is going to be light blue. Then click save. In a moment when you have it, you need just need to wait a little bit and it's going to change. And here, uh, what you want to do is go to top right and show empty statuses. And voila, here you got it. So here we have our, our first open request working on it done. So I'm going to have a task name, which is going to be, let's say, uh, rebranding, right? Then, I'm going to add a description. So text, description, and I'm going to have it like this. Then I'm going to have like also due date here. You can hide the column if you want to. Plus here, show and hide. And I can have date created. So that's the date that we're going to use. So when it was actually created, so you click plus here, show and hide. Then when you have it, we go further and we can change the priority. If it's a medium, normal, high, urgent. Assignee, who is going to assign me. Then we can also have the due date here that I just added back. And then we're going to add a status. So click on a drop down. And now I'm going to add status. And here I'm going to add working on it. Stuck waiting for response. Done new. So I can easily like working on it, add a color. Stuck is going to get red. Waiting for response like this. 
done it's going to be green and new it's going to be shadowy add a column and now we have also the status then you can also add files and then uh, if you can kind of have also have a type here so I'm going to add again drop down have a type and option one is going to be technical support billing question suggest improvement suggest a new feature report a bug and we can also have the other question so now we got it uh, what you can do also is to change colors here like this add a column so we have the type here and uh, then also what we can add how long it's opened right you can also have uh, the time tracking so that's something you can add here then what you can have also is request your name that is going to directly connect it to forum form so this is going to be the text stir name add a column and then also add a column which is going to be again text requester email add a column and then also what you can add if you want you can add request a phone and then add a uh, this is not going to be the text this is going to be phone so now as you can see we can we have like amazing tickets amazing customer request customer service so let's rename this to customer service pretty effective pretty easy and you can create it in like matter in 15 minutes now the next thing that we're gonna add is uh, you can use the board but before we're gonna use these I want to show you how we can use the pass view and find page views form click on it and click add view and now uh, you're gonna have like a, a form for people to fill out so for the like customers so we have the custom fields here and we want to create it as we have it so first thing uh, would be the task description or let's say a task name and it's going to be subject then we're gonna have a task description here description then we're gonna have the due date and we would add here uh, select due date select when do you need it to be ready for example you can have it there or no that's like the due date is up to you then you can also add the files upload relevant judgment add files and now we can add a type and then we're gonna have the requester name requester email and requester phone so we can add what is your name 
then we're gonna have the what is your email and then what is your phone number now when we have it we can simply view it and look at this subject description due date uh, type what is your name email phone number then on the right side you would find a link to save tasks you can automatically assign it to someone so let's say you have a project manager and he's going to you're going to assign tasks to them and then they're going to reassign it to someone someone else right you can select the task template that's not what we're going to do we direct url you can do it if you want to your website and uh you can also keep okay so this is pretty much it what i can do now is to simply copy the link and i'm going to show how it's going to work i'm going to do it like this and paste it and subject support with not working website uh, website is not working due date i can add the files of site not working type technical support what is your name marcus email like this phone number and i would add it now i'm just going to click submit but what i recommend is guys not having the uh not having required answers now i'm just going to click submit and i i can also add the files here so give me a second submit so let's see until it's going to be then also disable the required here so okay we want to have required this but we don't have a phone number file is not required and due date is not required so this is pretty much it how we're going to do it now we have already one result but look at this in the moment when i go to lists we see that it's support with not working website but we didn't we didn't we did a mistake that i added to done like automatically we want to have it to op open requests so uh here we see that it's uh okay support with not working website description yeah we need website is not working it's right here status priority due date time tracked files everything is working smoothly now we just need to like make it a little bit better so custom field is not want to have we, we can have the custom field directly on the task but we don't want to people to like open it all the time so we need to add it from custom field not from the task fields in really important now uh the next thing that we added and that was uh, like not a uh, good that we want to not have it to done we want to have it in our Yeah, I'm thinking right now how to do it. I need to figure it out because it's automatically going to be in done. I mean, yes, we can we can like uh, rename these. Like this is going to be open requests and then the top would be done. I mean, it's possible, but, but I need to figure it out. Th that's the way how we can like repair it. If you're going to uh, do a thing that you will have a list here, and you would edit it but i don't know how to i mean yes you can move it easily But I don't know really like how we can do it, to be honest. Yeah, I will figure it out. If I know the answer, I will let you know because the one way how we can do it is look. When I'm going to do the list settings, 
I can simply uh, rename the done to open requests. Open request is going to be done and working on it it's going to be yeah working on it and this is going to be green and this is going to be like like this but you can even like not have the done here because you can have it as a complete when you like click on it and complete because i always add it because i'm like uh i learned a lot in money.com so what you can do is to have it here the open requests and what you can have how we can make it down you just click on it and then set to complete but in the moment when you're gonna have set to complete you need to go to the top right show and you're gonna have the empty statuses so it's going to be in complete mark here so this is pretty much it how we can do it now when i go further to board in board you're gonna find the complete one and you can simply move between open request working on it done so that's something you can do my recommendation is definitely change that then and disable the done and have it as a open request and working on it and then just like easily click on it and then just press set to complete or do it with a board in which you would like take the open requests and, and move it to complete. Now I can go also to calendar. In calendar you would find everything here. But another really interesting thing that I want to show you is uh, the tasks. So if you have win, uh, if you see here, you can add like how many tasks they're gonna, um, like is good for them. So you can have, let's say it's going to be three tasks a day for a person. And then you see that this view and for Monday, I got one task of free task capacity, zero task, zero, zero. So this is pretty much it, how we can use it. And this is how would I use the customer service. I hope I gave you a little bit of value. What you can also do is to simply uh, have that, like the integration with Click up integration Zendesk. That's what you can do also. And you can easily install it and then use it. Right? And link it together. So that's something you can do. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. And see ya and goodbye.